Well, it's time to cut these clematis back. They quit blooming. This is a rain barrel, which has to be cleaned out before we set it back up. We pulled the elevated stand away from it so we can get to it. And the elevated stand is so that the water would be higher than the pond and the water would drain to the pond. I got my little handy dandy fold out seat. I got implements of destruction and something to put it in. And what we basically need to do is it's past time to be done, but we have a long growing season, and so when I cut this back, it will send up new stuff from the roots because the energy that's providing this whole plant has nowhere to go once I cut this off down here. And then it will send up new growth, and then we'll, the new growth will move up. Plus this thing for years has been sitting here and there's a brick or something under the ground right there and it won't let it go square. So I'm hoping to pick this up and move it over. We've also had to clear that camellia out because you couldn't even see that boxwood. So anyway, the deal is that you just, everything that blooms before the 1st of July you wait till after it blooms to cut it back. And this one has finally finished blooming. And I have one you can see on the edge of that gazebo that has finally finished blooming. So I'll be back with you after I cut it. Well, here's the clematis that was all up here. I had to actually get a steel rod and beat it in the ground. It's so hard here with a ha big ball peen hammer and work it out just to be able to stick the end of that in the ground and make it stay. And this is tied up. That was growing on its own. See how large? That's where all the main cluster came from originally. So you have growth over here now. But that's where all the energy is. So that's why I left that a little longer. Plus I needed to get it up that high to tie it off. <laughs> Got so much stuff behind me, seats, stairs, pruning stuff. That looks a lot neater. On to the gazebo. Well, there's the clematis at the gazebo. Now, these did not get a lot of sun, so they were really weak. And you see there's a stump cut flush so they can get the piece of equipment over it, and this one they'll dig up. But those two trees, they were 132 feet tall. We're blocking the sun through here, so now it's getting a little more sun. Now I cut this one back about a month ago, and I just tied it up. And see, it's already setting flowers. And since it flowers before the 1st of July, you don't prune them until they quit flowering. And see, you can see where I pruned it off, and this is all the new growth from it, and that is even getting a little growth. Here's all my tools and implements of destruction. And see, over here, this one quit blooming, and we cut it back, and that's the new growth. That, I'd cut it back, and it's got new growth. And see, this one is still blooming, but I can't really wait any longer. And it's really just off a couple big shoots, so all this is just going to go into that, and we'll tear this, uh, tie this up. And then it'll have time to grow and flower and mature enough to make it through the winter. That's the big item, making it through the winter. All I did is pulled it loose from the top, and it just laid right over here on the ground. And it's all growing off of one, two three, four, five, six shoots. And see, it's putting out new growth here. So I will, instead of cutting this at a foot, I will probably cut this right in there and tie that whole stem up. And then the others I'm hoping will come out or come up from the ground. Hopefully we'll get some to come up from the ground. Back in a bit. And that's what it looks like when it's finished. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different shoots coming up here. And we hope to get more from the ground, and these will all but out. And you think this is dead, well, you can cut it. And if it's green, you know it's not dead. 
see where I cut that off and it's green so you're cutting that off and you're making buds break out on this thing and up it'll come and you just always on something like that you cut back and back and back and back until you get something that has green on it I don't really expect that one to grow anything it looked a bit on the dry side but rather than keep cutting it down there this can at least support it in case some new growth comes out and when new growth comes out it won't take any time to get up to here where I could tie it off and then cut the dead off but you'll be surprised what that looks like in a little bit and this is what we took off and see it still had flowers on it still blooming and this has this we cut earlier because it had quit blooming and see it has a flower well we got this set up again back like it was we've cleared this out I still need to go in and get those dead branches out of there and clear that off